welcome to my channel. So I'm going to do a little shot in my stash for the month of July. I have to remember that because I've been doing videos for quite a while now and I've been doing like weeks in advance which I usually don't do that. I usually upload a film the week that I'm off and everything so I could get the weekend videos up. But I've been filming a lot lately and I've been enjoying it and I've been enjoying sitting down and talking to you guys about different things and all of that so everything I have will be down below in the description box but let's go ahead and talk about everything that I decided to take out and everything that I decided to put in my drawer for I'll show you the um, in clip and go through everything once I show you everything once everything's put in there and all that but for now I'm just going to talk about it. excuse me I have some sorry I have glitter in my eye okay that's Lilo's does it but anyways, I'm just going to go through stuff. I'm not going to pick any order or do any order or anything like that. I'm just going to pick what's in the bag, tell you that I'm going to take it out. And then again, I've always had products that I'm going to put in and everything. So the first two things is these two powders from Dermalogica. I got the Lucidity Powder and the Illuminating Banana Powder. I did a first impressions, an update, current favorites, and all of that. And I'll link the videos above in the cards. That way, that way, guys will see my full thoughts and everything. So, putting that back. Also, putting back the LYS Bronzer, No Limited Matte Bronzer, and Motivate. And another reason I do this is because I didn't pick that much stuff out because my halfway yearly project pan and my fall and winter project pan, I mean spring and summer side, it's going to be coming up soon so I'll be filming that after this and I want to get more use out of it especially since we're close to halfway mark for the yearly one and we're almost done with the spring and summer one. So yeah, like I said, I didn't pick that much out because of it. Um, I am putting back the Rose Water City Spray. Also, the Caliway Highlight Beaming Glow Hybrid Fill Highlighter in Star Beach. This, I'm thinking about decluttering because it is now broken. I don't know how this happened, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to declutter that. I don't know how to press anything, so... And I just recently got that, and I'm like, dang, that was my favorite highlight. Like, that was so beautiful. I loved it, and, but, I guess stuff happens, so, I'll swatch it. Like, even if I try to press it back, it's still going to, you know, fall apart. But, it actually worked for me very well. And once you blend it out, it was so, like, beautiful. So, once I get more money, I'm definitely going to repurchase that. And hopefully, the other one that I get will not be like that. Like I said, I have not had that for that long. And I don't understand why all of a sudden it's broke and everything. And it was a brand new product. But anyways, and I'm putting back the Milk, was it, Pro Eclipse Saints, right? One of my favorite city sprays. Like I said, I'll link the videos above all the products that I talk about and everything, especially my current one that I that I post for this. Um, the Halo Glow City Powder, a whole bunch of face palettes and palettes. The ColourPop Rose by by the Rose, beautiful pinky purpley type shade really beautiful loved it um the alamo cosmetic blush palette three different beautiful blushes also the be my everything highlight by johanna again three different highlights um play back the luminoso baked blush from milani 
very beautiful. The bronzer, bronzer by Bare Mineral in Kiss of Copper and my Nambala Skin Bronzer. Like I said, I'm putting a lot of stuff back. I didn't get that much stuff off out because like I, like I said, I've been trying to use more of my project pans and some of the stuff is very beautiful and type of project pan that is good for the summer or spring that has beautiful products and everything. But, um, actually, this I'm going to keep in because this I'm literally almost done with. So, squash that. Um, another one is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Powder, Press Powder, and four. Another blushing Lovecraft Beauty. Again, beautiful blushes. Trying to hurry up and do this so it won't be a vain long video. Um, the Sephora Best Skin Ever Foundation. Really love that. Makeup Forever HD. I'm probably going to be using this a lot during the spring and summer when my skin gets very oily. But right now, during the spring and summer, I just want light cup, light tint, like a skin tint or a hydrating tint or something like that that's very lightweight on my skin. I don't want anything for coverage or heavy because once my oils go through and I start sweating and my oils come through, it feels very... If I have a heavy foundation, it's going to feel more heavy for me. So, during the summer or spring, I like using skin tints or hydrate tints or blurry tints or whatever. Skin tints. Um, next, I am going to put back this Farless Satin um, Elf Foundation. I do have a deeper shade that I think is going to work for me. This is light ivory when I'm a little bit more um, light during the fall and winter. Right now I'm getting out more mainly because I'm working and doing other things. So I'm starting to get a little bit more tanner, get a little bit more color on me so the other shade is going to work for me a lot better. I am going to put back the MAC Pro Long Wear Paint in three of the colors. The vintage one, the Bear Study, and the Babe and Charm. Again, I talked about this in my current favorite. Like I said, I'll link all that in the cards. Um, few concealers. I'm playing back corrector. Well, not corrector. Well, actually, I'm going to keep the correct on here. So I am keeping the corrector. But the NYX Bear With Me Concealer. Love it. Very lightweight, but good coverage. The RL Fitter. Very good. Also, the Quickie. Stay Naked Quickie Concealer, again, some of my favorites. Um, this one by Low Crack Beauty, it's like a single eyeshadow, putting that back. Also putting back the Essence Multichrome and still the look, beautiful. I love it. It's the most beautiful thing I ever saw. My entire life. And that Casilla LYS, which you guys know I waved about that. Whole bunch of lip products. So the glowy glow lip. Also this punk rose hip hop shadow stick, which I should keep that out. Yeah. This I'm actually gonna keep because it's very um lightweight creamy and it's good for Actually, I think it's a little dry out. Yeah, it does. Okay, this is going to be a declutter. Fortunately, it's a dry out stick. So, putting that to the side, put my declutter bin. Um, but also the KVD Dazzle Stick. The Apparel Liquid Eyeshadow. Very beautiful. The Mezzacujo Juicy Lip in Ginger from Tarte, the um, Tinted Lip Balm from Colourpop, you know the rain is all off, but it's still good, it still works, it's I'm not with bad yet. And the last few things, we get all out to show you another of the Essen Multichrome in Platinum Nights, and the 
Privacy Shine and Plump Lip Cover. Another one of Tinted Balms in String. The Milani Fruit Fresh in Berry Asi. Another Fruit Fresh in Dragon Fruit. Um, another cream eyeshadow, the Beauty Crop in two different styles. The Bella Agent, it's like a lip balm or a lipstick. Way back, another Maracushi Juicy Lipstick from Tarte in the shade Rose. Three of the this is Milky Gloss in Coco Shake Chocolate Ch Coco Latte Shake and Milkshake. So, putting those back. So that is literally everything I am putting back that I had for June. Now let's go again to July and show you what I picked out for the month of July. Some stuff, like I said, I did keep decided to use again because either almost done or I need to get more use out of them or they're just my staples for this time of the year. So, move this to the side. That way I can show you. So the first thing of course this I'm still testing out is the KAB Hydrant Setting Mist. So the cool thing is like the um, MAC plus fix plus where you can turn it and it does a spray and then you turn it and it does it's a very good sprayer it's supposed to like hydrate your skin so so I like it for that reason and of course that is staying because I'm still testing out and still using it and then of course later I'll give you guys my socks when I feel like that or I know I have enough information to give the taste not that good I'm telling you right now tastes like very sour candy a very strong alcohol so that I could tell you for a fact okay the next spray of course since you guys know I'm done my makeup Milani and I said I want to get through all my other sprays I decided to go ahead and get the mango cocoa this is unfortunately it is not sold anymore but in my mind, just because it's a flavor one does not mean it does not do what it's supposed to do. It's still Milani. It's still the Makeup Last um, Setting Spray. It still works for me, and I still love it and everything. So I'm not going to stop using it because of it not being sold anymore and because of our collection, the Fruity Collection. And I like Makeup Milani. I'm not going to stop using it because of that. Um, also, going to keep on the All Star Colourpop and use more of that. Like I said, I am so close to using a lot of these up, so I just kind of want to keep them in my, in it for a month and see. And speaking of that, I am literally almost done with my e.l.f. one, so I want to keep it in for a month. I guarantee you by end of June and beginning of August, I will probably have at least one or two of those done. Especially the elf one. Okay. Next is some powders. Actually, let's do primer. So we're kind of going to do this in order in a way. So primer, I'm trying to use some primers that I didn't really have my full thoughts on. I used it a few times, but I didn't know if I liked it or not like it. So the one is the glass primer from Wait Weedall. It's supposed to be a primer for flawless glow. So this I actually do like. It comes out white like this. But once you like blend it in and everything, it comes out white, but you have to blend it in really well. Sorry. But like I said, once you blend in, it gives like that rainy glow. So I do actually like it. And I just want to use it some more. Because like I said, when it comes to summer, I can mix and match. So I could have a radiant primer on me with a matte foundation or something that I know or a matte setting spray. And my makeup will last for a long, longest time ever. So 
I still want to try that. I still so far like it, but I don't know if I love it enough to, um, well, keep it in my collection. Another thing is this one here. This is the Revlon Grippy 16 hour matte primer. Now, it's supposed to be originally when it first came out the dupe for um, the e.l.f. grip primer. Not the one with Cinemide, the original one. And all these are grip primers and everything. So I'm like, oh, this looks cool. And it came with a powder, it came with a spray too. So I just got the primer. So when I first tested it out, I'm like, Ooh, actually, it may be bad because. Okay. Sorry, I thought I was being a little liquidy. I'm like, wait. Okay, don't. Okay. So it comes out like this, and it's supposed to give you like nice, grippy, tacky one, but look matte. I hope the makeup stay off a long time. No grip. Like, literally, I was waiting for it to be like, you know, stuff like that. Oh, and also it's just to do the milk makeup grip, too. But truthfully, all it feels is poor filling, not even tacky, type primer. So, I'm going to use this and see, again, if it's worth keeping my collection and worth using. Now, this other primer is something I haven't used for quite a while. I remember loving it, but I don't remember loving it enough to keep it. So, that is this right here. Again, a lot of stuff I got from Box Trauma Ipsy. So, this is the reason why I had all this stuff. Um, it's a Pore Affection Primer Matte foundation uh matte one so this one i know for a fact comes out like this like other consistency and i think i really did like this i feel like that it felt like a little lotiony it felt really good on my skin and it worked it did feel like it was doing something like it made my skin feel really smooth i think it did keep my makeup on for a long time so, like I said, it looks beautiful. So, I definitely know I probably will be keeping that in my collection once the month is over with and I use it some more. Okay. Next is face powder. So, I decided to keep the Aspen to use it some more. Again, that is something that I kind of need to use more and try out this and become like I said Molly Grail. This is part of my current favorite. Again, I'll link the video above. This is something I use. It's very finely milled powder. It does not make me look face look face look dry or cakey. It really does keep my face from getting oily or greasy or too dry or anything like that. So this has become one of my favorite ones. Of course, we have the e.l.f. one. This one I love using and it's my eyes more than all my face. Because I feel like that it does keep my my axilla good, but it doesn't like make my eye look dry or cakey. And then this one I decided to bring out. This one I've been used for quite a while. This is like the new packaging, the new edition of the Makeup Forever Press Powder. And it does come with spun. They just we did the pack sheen, the formula, and everything. But it's like the original one if you guys have this. So I got mine in HD Skin Matte Velvet in 1914, the same I had for the um, liquid version. I have tried this. But I think at the time my skin was too dry and too matte. I mean, it does work, it's a good shade for me. But I think I need to try it more during the spring and summer when my skin gets more oily and it needs that extra protection and that extra coverage and everything. And I have tried it as a regular MAC uh, foundation. I have used it as a powder foundation, as a setting foundation. So right now, I'm going to wait until my skin gets like really oily and when my oils stop pulling through, which I've noticed that they have. My skin is getting to that point where it's getting a little more oily. The pores are coming out and everything. So, it's getting hot more. So, yeah. 
this is definitely a time for me to try it and use it. Okay, so speaking of concealer, I decided to go ahead and bring out some more concealers. This one, again, have used for a while. It's the KVD um, Lightweight Full Concealer. I think it's like the good apple one, if I remember correctly. This I kind of did like. I gotta use this some more. I feel like that kind of did dry my eyes out. It got like a little pinky hue to it. So it will do a little brightening and everything. But the one that I loved the most was the one from ABH. That was a good one. So, um, yeah. And then I decided to get bring this out. This is a Flower Light Illusion Full Coverage. Again, I just want to make sure if this works or not. But that's the tone. I know it's a little bit different than this, but I kind of like the fact that it's more pinky than neutral because it will help me brighten up my eyes. And then I got the Tarte C Hawaii Ashen um, Concealer. I may have to clutter both of these because both of these look a little too deep for me, so I may end up declining this. So yeah, we'll see at the end of the month. If it looks too bright on me, or too deep on me, then I probably will go to clutter. So, yeah. So those are the ones I have decided to keep in my drawer. Now the one, of course you guys know, I love this. This is my favorite thing to use during the summer. It is an easy drop blurring skin tint. It is so good. It works so well. It is my correct skin color and it gives that blurring look but it stays on for a really really long time and it does not come off and I'm telling you right now it is the most beautiful thing ever and it's very lightweight it does not make my skin look heavy I don't feel cake with it anything like that so that's why I said I like lightweight skin tint type ones okay next is eyes and face and all of that so for eyes I decided to go ahead I am going to keep trying this give by Grin Safani I tried it once but I'm going to have to try it again I feel like that I'm not a really big fan of it because I feel like that it really wasn't doing anything for me and it kind of was like crumbling when the first time I used it. Then I'm going to go ahead and do this one. This is the Lila LR. Some of these stuff I get from Mock Charm, the names are just like, ugh. Well, it's a liquid eyeshadow in Rose Court. This is so beautiful. This I really do like again. Very easy, one look eyeshadow. As you can see, I love shadows like that. Especially when I just want to do a simple, easy eye look. This one is my favorite. This is from Orza Beauty Full Look Eyeshadow Eye Look Rose. And oh my god, it is the most beautiful thing that I ever first saw this. I'm like, holy moly. It literally look foil. I love it. Then for single eyeshadow, I decided to bring out my Ace Beauty Cut Candy and Ice Latte. The common thing I wear again during the summer because what we expect. It's more summer type shades. And then this one in Ciate, this is in Wicked, so it's like a little purple one. And of course, the eye stick shot. I'm Will her? I recently got this. I'm still trying this out, but so far I do like it. It's almost like the other one from Rose Quite, but this has like a little pinky to it. Like it's a little pink, and in a way, so. That I'll still be using. And then, of course, I said keep my pure nude blush.
Big Blush in Pink Flesh. I bring out my Relove Super Bronzer to try this again. Again, at first I was like, first, it's okay product. And of course, I'm still testing out my Persona Super Blush. Very beautiful. And then of course this blush is from Zesvlora in the Strawberry Jam where they have that when they had that collection. The only thing I didn't like the fact that all the strawberries went away. It was an overspray, but again, it is beautiful. And then we have the original Pat McGrath newish bronzer, which I still need to try that out some more. But so far, I really do love it. And then, of course, we have the Lori Mercier Matte Re Bake Highlight in Highlight 1. Again, this was, this is so beautiful. It gives you that beautiful champagne type glow. So, that I decided to keep in. Like I said, I don't have that much stuff in the drawer now because unless I'm testing anything out, it's not going to be in my drawer, and unless I'm using my project pans, it's not going to be in my drawer. So, let me go ahead and give you guys an overview of everything. So, just give me one moment. Let me guys take you off of here. Turn you around. So, this is like literally the overview of my drawer. These are all like project pans. These are still tray out. These are like the um, lip oils and everything. My pencils but these are project pan pan so these appear but here is my concealers I haven't got no lip because again I'm trying to use a much project pan there's some lip product that mascara again I used to have a whole bunch but now they all now I went through them and everything so they're all gone everything my brow and primer everything stayed the same this does not change whatsoever so here's my primers, foundations, and then of course all of my liquids. So I have highlight, blush, bronzer. That's the same because once in a while I do want to do liquid and put some on. So and a lot of this I have talked about. Some of that I am testing out like the elf blush wands, uh, the highlight wands. These I'm still trying out. Milani one I'm still trying out. So these right here are more the trying out still and gain my opinion so I could show you and lay on video how I think what I feel about them and how I think I would keep them and all that but the rest of the stuff I've already talked about so yeah so this is more the testing side of it and of course we have all of my palettes, blonde highlights, liquid eyeshadow things like that so that is everything and that is my whole drawer. And these are the palettes I decided to keep in. The only one I'm still using. The L'Oreal Rock Forest one. This one by Essence. London one. The Los Angeles one. The Icon one. And then of course ColourPop Smoke Rose. So these are things again I'm still trying out. Still using. Still getting my thoughts and opinions. So yeah, that is everything that I am using for the month of July. So I hope you guys like this. I will be doing a July look, but it's going to be a YouTube shorts. And just say happy July to everyone and be safe and all that. And that is coming up soon. That will be one of my bonus videos, which I do once in a while. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Give it a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell down below. That way you guys know I upload every weekend. And like I said, everything will be on my face. Everything I mentioned will be in the box, like my current favorites, everything I talked about, and all that. And I hope you guys have a lovely night. Till then, bye!